So at 11 p.m. that evening on February 7th, I see a weathered fence and or building. So a weathered wooden fence or building, kind of like that. Blue dots above it. Front yard fence, new tree, probably in the 1970s. German flag linked to Pokeball garden, piles of soil, dirt. I think, um, Pokemon are related to trauma-based mind control, or, you know, the mind control, the idea of transforming, um, kind of from one personality to another, not necessarily to full dissociation, but the kind of personality that manipulations that get done through trauma-based mind control. Eleven twenty two PM Cloud washed sky image of sky like outside QFC earlier blue, white, pink, soft clouds, rain washed fences around fresh water, stumps, huckleberries, Volkswagen bug. These are just images, flashes of images that are coming to me that I'm writing down to try to keep track of them because they seem to be linked to actual a lot of times they seem to be linked to actual places that I might run into. Sequoia Park, that's in Eureka, trees and stumps. Then I get a series of numbers, 97, 98, 99, 100. Dream of old homes and fresh water. So the, these numbers are linked to old homes and fresh water. I've mentioned earlier maybe that the power pole next to my house, next to our house growing up, my house growing up, it's next to a stump actually that's in the front of the driveway. It's marked 101 on it. So that, maybe these are numbers of power poles. I hear the Munsters theme song and I see this kind of shape. More Munsters theme song. Word bagging. So Munsters, you know, it's Munsters, they're not monsters, but they're Munsters, it's a play on the town of Munster, which is linked to my family. Matador, the name, word Matador comes to me, linked to family tree or a family tree. Um, B-O-B, shine. Newly renovated home around corner on Gleason and 61st. I see FBI. Oh, interesting. That's the one with the blue lights on the corner. So I think that's actually not the only time I got that uh, connection with that home in the FBI. So that, that home must be connected in some way with the FBI. This is the home that I'm talking about. And this is actually, it's actually more renovated than this now. This screen captures from June 2019. So it's about seven months ago. I think the house has a new paint job. I think it's a different color. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it is. Um, there may be, an, there may have been more work done to the driveway. It seems like there was stuff done in this area also. I think there might be gravel on each side now. Um, so obviously this fence is new. So here's 2016, what it looked like. Oh, it goes all the way back to 2007, but that's all right. We don't need to do that. Um, so that's 2016. Most of the renovations, it looks like, you know, there's, is between 2018, 2019. 
And this house is like less than a block away from my house. I mean, it's around the corner, so all in all, it probably is about a block away from my house, my apartment. What is shine, what does that B.O.B. song shine really mean? I It means, I've kind of gone back and forth to, does it mean people that end up dying or being hurt or something like that? Well, dying definitely catches people's attention, but although they might not understand why a person died. But because... He says, which one of you is going to shine? And he has these women on, there's these women on stage, like as if they're in a beauty contest, but they look like women that I've known, that I know have been spied on and in some cases had tragedy happen to their family or things happen to them because of frequency-based technologies. Um, so there's a girl in there that reminds me of Sylvia, whose sister was killed when she was in kindergarten by a car that ran the red lights on the school bus. There was a girl that reminds me of Sylvie Martinez. She, a little bit. Um, who was struggling with anorexia and may have had other issues. There's, um, I mean, this was a long time ago, but anyhow, so something, what's going on? See the letter K. Image of someone putting batteries away, selecting different batteries from a box or set. This is related to Kurt Cobain make monkey chim chim with the battery pack. So very interesting. Batteries get thrown out. They used to they used to see them all the time and as a symbol of directed energy attacks are being planned on you, me personally. Um, so usually they're double A or A batteries that it gets thrown out. And I will show the Chim Chim. The Chim Chim thing is actually really a good illustration. It's taken me a while to fully understand, you know, for it to, the different nuances of that little toy to come out for me. Okay, so this is, um, Cobain, Unseen, Charles Cross. And that's Chim Chim. So he had these different monkeys, organ grinders, monkeys, or whatever that you, a collection of those. But it's this little thing, and there might be some significance to it being linked to something Japanese or something. But this monkey has a 9 volt battery strapped to its back with electrodes on its head. And it's got a gold chain wrapped around it and it's got a butterfly and it's made to look like it's taking a bite out of the butterfly's wing so I knew this was some type of link to MK Ultra and the idea of you know I knew electric shocks before I even understood that I was being attacked with these directed energy weapons and before the you know attacks became it gets to the point where you, it's totally un unescapable that you're being, I mean, it's obvious, but um, they can be also be attacked by these in very subtle ways. Um, I had read that MKUltra involved people being shocked with electric shocks, but I always sort of either imagined this or it was explained in this way, where people would actually be strapped to wires and electrodes and be shocked that way. I had no idea that this was also being done remotely with directed energy and implants. I think that what this actually signifies are the um, people who have been through mind control, quote unquote, training um, or trauma based mind control um, as children being kind of set up as this army to attack Chris and I, as represented by the butterflies. So these include the people who claim to be, quote unquote, TIs. Um, and a lot of other people. And I don't know how this all works. I don't know. Um, I guess what happened, and, you know, I know that the United States government has been involved in this, but I also know corporations and universities have been involved in this, and families. 
I guess that people are kind of made dependent on the system or promised great rewards or both um, as long as they harm us or defeat us or consider us their their enemy. So there were all these people running around my whole life, and especially after I got together with Chris, who considered me to be like their uh, arch enemy, and I didn't even know that. First of all, because they were acting like they didn't, they, that was all, pre you know, in the background. It was all covert and hidden. Um, but second of all, why would I think that anybody was my enemy? I mean, I've, I'm not interested in having enemies and doing all this stuff, but it was already pre-programmed into people. It really had nothing to do with me, and it has everything to do with this game and other people's goals, which are basically theft and uh, ongoing human trafficking activities. So the idea of the chain is this idea that you're chained to this system. And in fact, you know, with the implants and the directed energy and the other kinds of attacks that can be done, that that may be... Um, you know, to a certain extent true, but it's more most important that they get you to believe that that's true. You know, as long as you can believe that this person is your enemy and believe that you're chained to this situation and you must destroy this person at all costs and that's your mission in life, if, you, if they can get people to believe that, then they, you know, they've got these armies doing all their work for them and their work is basically, you know, to keep a crime system going. So anyway, that's what I think Chim Chim is about and why is I think Chim Chim I, this if this is Chim Chim I mean this is who it, who it was in my dream um, is it important that it's Japanese and I'm not sure because we had a dream earlier about pokeballs and so I don't really um, I don't know about Japanese history with mind control I know a little bit about German history with mind control and a tiny bit about Chinese slash Korean history of mind control but not Japanese. But um, if it's, you know, mean that's out in China and Korea, I'm sure that it would also be linked to Japan as well. B.O.B. Greg Sage, someone like Andrew Loomis, me, and Dolores Eddington all seem to be in this dream. Something to do with paint like paint for houses at some point there is this jacket that says wipers on it i pick it up and put it down again it's kind of a dumb looking thing it might be a jacket or something else a bowling bag holder comes to mind i don't know why i wrote bowling bag holder i mean bowling ball bag like a, a bag that you can hold a bowling ball in and that old plasticky um, plastic covered cloth material like you would see in the 1970s. I think now of a bag that says Pan Am on it, a blue Pan Am bag. So this is a type of cloth bag you would see in the 70s. It was vinyl, but it was actually vinyl color covered cloth. Cheap bags. I, I'm walking with these guys, Greg Sage, who doesn't really look like Greg Sage, and someone who looks like Andrew Loomis. The drummer for Dead Moon, but it wasn't clear that it was Andrew Loomis and I think Dolores Eddington, and it seems like there was a bike involved somewhere. And that's a very disparate gathering of characters. I could see Greg Sage and Andrew Loomis being connected in some way since they're both from the old Portland punk scene, but why Dolores Eddington, who's somebody I knew in Eureka, who I believe grew up in Utah, Mormon family, and why B.O.B., the artist called B.O.B. I don't know. I keep getting the sense of being with B.O.B., Bobby Ray Simmons, doing some, something somewhere, maybe also related to house paint. I see Choo Choo and Two Dollars all in red and yellow like McDonald's colors. Last night, I saw a red and yellow bright dot falling.
oddly enough, there is a, I do sense a link between, it's loose and weird, between Andrew Loomis and the Pan Am, but it's too complex to try to explain right now. I'll just see if something else comes up with that. Then I get Little House in the Prairie music in my head, 8.01 a.m. Is this after the this thing? 7.40 a.m. is this stuff. House paint. Little House in the Prairie music is 8.01. That's the shape. I was trying to figure out what that was. Uh, 12.51. Must be p.m. Shonen Knife. Twist Barbie comes to my head. Shonen Knife seems to have some sort of link with K Records that's not, I haven't quite figured out. Um, I see a number 10. You don't have to worry about measuring if it's alternating years, etc. I don't know. Sometimes I get very weird phrases in my head. I have no idea what